Hi guys, um, I have to record two videos today, um, <laughs> I do them in like a quick succession, so it's gonna be really crazy. I have two for my YouTube channel, this one, and then one for my blog. Uh, so you will see three of the same super Spider-Man shirt, but first I'm gonna go with um, Skippy Christmas by John Grisham. So this book is fairly popular um, and well known. In the adult world, um, the more elder adult world, I guess, the movie Christmas with the Cranks, I believe, was based on this book. It starts out with um, the main characters, Luther and Nora Crank, and their daughter goes on some um, Peace Corps mission, I think, um, to Peru or some... South American country, she's not going to be home for Christmas. And the main character figures out how much money they spent on Christmas last year, and it's like, I think it's like $6,000 or something? $6,100 is how much they spent on Christmas related things last year. And he's like, well, I don't want to spend $6,100 again. So he plans a cruise um, with his wife which is less than their cost of Christmas, and he's like, we won't do anything Christmas related, we won't buy gifts, we won't get Christmas cards, we won't have a tree, we won't get presents for each other, like nothing. Um, we're just gonna eat healthy, and go tanning, and go on this trip. That'll be all, and we will save a couple thousand, even though it's, we're spending a big chunk at one time, we're still saving money. Um, and she's like, I mean, it takes a while to convince her because Christmas, um, but eventually she says, okay, fine, but everybody that they meet or tell about this, um, they're either very judgmental or very envious. They struggle to stick with their original plan. So f this was actually a really good book. I enjoyed it quite a lot. It was very entertaining because at the time I felt like, yes, I would rather go on a cruise. I would rather spend my money on going somewhere where I don't have to drive through all this snow and deal with all these Christmas gifts and giving to people and oh my god. But if I had been able to save all of that money and just put it in my savings account, my savings account would be looking really good right now. <laughs> so the book was super entertaining, um, like it was enjoyable. There weren't a lot of parts that I was like laughing at, they were just situational irony funny bits but it was just as entertaining and just as enjoyable it really was the only problem that i had with this book was everyone's like need to put a stop to their trip like i just didn't understand i don't know why everyone cared so much that this couple was going on vacation when it's their personal business if they want to do this then they want to do that the only thing that sort of made sense to me was the their frosty situation. So every house on the block has like a blow up frosty that they just put on their roofs every year. And then there's like a contest over the best neighborhood. Um, so I get why the neighbors would be upset over the frosty because they wouldn't get the award because they didn't have one frosty on their roof and it wasn't a like, identical rows of Frosties. Um, and then there was where she tells her pastor, where Nora tells their uh, their pastor that they're not going to be there for the Christmas sermon or whatever. Um, and I can understand him being concerned um, as far as concerned that their religious views are changing. I mean, uh, for, for the most part, everyone was just being selfish and they wanted the money for themselves. They wanted to get something out of the cranks. I gave it a four out of five on Goodreads. Um, and I might change that. Um, it's just, it was a really hard decision to make. Um, cause it is a book that I would read again. Like it wasn't five out of five in my mind. I mean, there's just a few things that like they stick out in my mind as these were really amazing and I loved everything about them. And this just wasn't one, but you can't give like four point seven five stars on Goodreads. So I might just have to round up to five. Because um, I don't feel 4 was close to unjustified. I feel like 4.75 is where I'm at 
with this book. I just needed a little bit of something extra to throw it over the edge. So that's my explanation um, of how I liked it. But I do like his writing style and I feel like his way of conveying events and feelings in the characters uh, was wonderful. I really empathized and sympathized with these characters. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Links down below. Again, I don't remember what the links are for. Um, please subscribe for more videos and like and comment if you have any suggestions for me um, as far as books go or give me your comments on how you like this book or the movie. And I will see you sooner than a week with my next video.